Analysis of the Medieval Ballad, The Demon Lover by Anusha Tennakon. This analysis is specially for the students who are studying the subject Introduction to Literature under Higher National Diploma in English. Let's have a look at the content. What is a ballad? Features of ballads. Story of the ballad, The Demon Lover. Examination of the ballad, The Demon Lover, under themes, features and language. These are the areas that we are going to discuss in this presentation. What is a ballad? Ballad is a poem or a song narrating a story in short stanzas. Traditional ballads are typically of unknown authorship, having been passed orally from one generation to the next. Now, let's have a look at the features of ballads. Number one, ballads mostly rely on simple and easy to understand language or dialect from its origin. Number two, hardships, tragedies, love and romance are the standard ingredients of ballads. Number three, recurrence of certain lines at regular intervals is available in ballads. Number four, ballads seldom offer a direct message about a certain event, character or situation. It is left to the audience to deduce the moral of the story from the whole narration. Number five, ballads were composed and sung sometimes to the rhythm of a dance and they are usually in the form of four line stanzas of iambic tetrameter and have the charm of the simplicity of the narrative style. Number six, most ballads are full of pathos, magical events and tragic incidents. Number seven, characterization is minimal and description is brief and conventional. Let's try to be familiar to the story of the ballad the Demon Lover. The Demon Lover is a love story about a young man who had been away for seven years and he has come back to see his lover and to check what has happened to the promises they shared. But to his surprise, he got to know that his former lover was a married woman with two kids. The man who recollected the memories of their love affair and their affection with a grief told her that he would never set his foot on that ground unless it was for her. Then the woman asked him what he would give her if she was to leave her husband and two children. There he explained her that he was a rich man, being the owner of eight ships. Further, he explained that his ships were luxurious ships with 24 mariners and music. He promised to give them all to her. The woman who was governed by her greediness towards material comfort said goodbye to her two children, kissing their cheeks and chin. After she had boarded the ship, she understood that her former lover was a liar because the ship was absent of 24 mariners and the music. Moreover, the condition of the ship seemed cheap with sails made of taffeta and the mast made of beaten gold. With the change of the appearance of the former lover to an ugly and fearful devil, she realized that she was cheated. So, she cried bitterly. The man stopped her crying, promising her to show lilies growing on the banks of Italy. 
When she saw the hills with the sun's rays on them, she wanted to know what they were. He told her that they were hills of heaven and that she would never go there. Then she questioned of some mountains covered with frost and snow. He assured her that they were the mountains of hell where both of them would go. Then he who struck the topmast with his hand and the foremast with his knee brought the ship into two and sank it to the bottom of the sea. After being familiar with the story of the ballad, now let's examine the ballad with reference to its themes, features and language. Themes Number 1 how extreme desire for wealth won over motherly affection and ultimately ended up in misery. Number two, there is no impunity for anybody who did sins. These are the major themes of the ballad, The Demon Lover. Features and Language The ballad, The Demon Lover, consists of the qualities of a good ballad. Number one, the language is simple and in a conversational tone. Number two, the question and answer pattern prevails throughout the ballad, inviting the attention of the listeners. Number three, the use of the usual all time magic delighted the majority of people, especially the rural folk in medieval era. Number four, the love image and the tragic end punishment for the sins are highlighted in an effortless manner. Number five, the story is appealing and the verses could be sung. The auditory images are superbly brought out. Thank you very much. We'll meet again with a presentation like this.